This is Unwind Your Mind Back to God Written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2 In Chapter 6, this is Section 5 One Boss, One Function Hi David, Lesson 25 says that all goals are of the ego and asks me to relinquish them. Does this mean that I should not have any goals in my life? Should I then not even plan my day? How am I to survive in the business world where everything is goals and quotas? Hello beloved one. ACIM gives the goal of forgiveness to replace the ego's goals of form outcomes that maintain the belief in separation from God. The Holy Spirit works with the mind, whatever and wherever it believes itself to be, and helps loosen the self-concept the ego made to take the place of Christ. I held a gathering many years ago in which the following Q&A dialogue took place. Question I have to go back to work today and do some computer work and some other things before tomorrow morning. I would rather stay right here. You talk about intuition and spirit leading you. Now how do I do that? David The Holy Spirit starts from where and what the mind believes it is. Suppose you believe you are a woman who has a particular job and tonight that looks like having to do work at a computer. Let's suppose that this scenario is all just a motion picture of a belief system you have and this is simply the way you perceive yourself at this moment. The Holy Spirit does not try to yank this web of beliefs apart. The Holy Spirit will use those things that you believe in to help you realize that you are much more than the self-concepts you believe define you. This discussion, for example, is bringing witness to your mind's desire to wake up and remember your reality as the Son of God. All one has to have is the willingness and the Holy Spirit will undo the false self-concepts and replace them with forgiveness. Start with this prayer. Abide with me, Holy Spirit. Guide me in what to say and do and where to go. If you welcome and trust him, you will experience immediate results. Question I am having some trouble with the description of duality and with the idea that it is our perception that is the problem. I work in a business where I have to see things exactly as they are happening, not as I might like them to happen. How do I get to the place that you are talking about? David When one has identified oneself, say, as an employee in a business, there certainly seem to be external constraints and restrictions to abide by. For example, let's say one is identified as a manager. As a manager, one seemingly has to hold other people accountable for doing certain things. A manager monitors and evaluates employees, directs them, conducts performance reviews, and so forth. 
Also, every manager has a boss, whose job it is to make sure the manager is accountable. What one must do is look closely, going deeply into the belief system that is producing the faulty perception which is producing the scenario I have just described. One must be willing to examine what the priorities are, what is most important in life. Is peace of mind one's only priority? I have had to take a look and a good look at everything. I believed. Turn inward for strength and support and realize with certainty that the Holy Spirit is my only boss and forgiveness my only function. One may ask, how practical is that? What do you do when you have two bosses? If you have the Holy Spirit and your employer telling you two different things. Again, the Holy Spirit meets the mind where it believes it is. He works with the mind, helping it to exchange accepted self-concepts for the more expansive self-concepts that approach true forgiveness. As you lay aside judgment and change your mind about the world, what happens on the screen of the world will be a symbolic representation of that mind shift and of your perception of relationships. So really, we are back to just saying, Okay, Holy Spirit, work with me right now where I believe I am and help me loosen my mind from these false beliefs. Help me let go of the ego and my perception will be healed. Trust in the Holy Spirit for everything and He will take care of you in ways you cannot even envision. Let the Holy Spirit guide you in all things and everything will work out for the best. The inner journey goes very deep but the Holy Spirit guides surely and there are many free resources available for the asking. I am joined with you in the awakening. You are dearly loved.